Hey guys, how's it going? We have got Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 Goku. That is quite the mouthful right there. Um, this is probably the first Dragon Ball Z thing that we have gotten to review. Um, it's rare and few that I find myself willing to go out of the way for Dragon Ball Z stuff, but I definitely love most of what I see, and I'm glad to finally be able to review a figure from this line. Thing that I like most about him is a Goku Super Saiyan Blue, pretty awesome. Looks a little bit more doll metallic than like I would like, but the thing that I like the most about it, like, is the fact that he is Kaioken times 10 and he's got this whole sunburn look going on with all of his skin tones, he's got that red gleam in his skin. And I thought that was just an amazing touch, and that's what's really made me pick up this figure. I was like, I gotta check that out. But, yeah, we got Build-A-Figure for Super Saiyan Kale. I believe we come with the arm, one of the arms, with an extra hand. Goku comes with extra hands. So let's go ahead and pull him out here. So the whole insert comes out all as one, and this can just slide out. You got this nice little background here. And he has nothing holding him in place, so you can just pop him right out. I like that. It's always a pain dealing with the little zip ties, and on bigger figures is where you really only need them. But most things always end up having them. Nice that this doesn't. Doesn't really need it either with the way that they package it in there. No tape holding anything in either. Just a real nice basic packaging, so we're going to pop him out and everything and take a close look. And right there we got him out of the box. I already have a few complaints and a few praises and everything. And we are sitting, um, let's see if we can zoom out just a bit here. We are sitting about, I would say he's in a six inch scale. The hair is what makes him go up to push that seven inches. It's about six and three quarters at the top of that hair but I believe these are made to be in a six inch line. So, things that I don't like. I think he's got a really good face if we can get a good look here. I think his face is pretty good. The color of his hair is not showing up right in this video because of the way that I've got light hitting it. He's got, it's just showing up so gleamy. It's very dull. It's not bright at all like this and everything. It is a very, very dull. We're barely even seeing a lot of that red outside of his forearms and stuff. You can really see that red on the hands and the forearms. But that is present even here and especially on his face and everything. It's just not showing up that well on the camera, unfortunately. Thing I do not like, and I messed around with seeing if I could, you cannot lift his head. You could pretty much just, you know, rotate it there. It is on a ball peg right there. It's just the way that it's all set up there, it, like with the neck, and it does feel like this neck is a separate piece on its own. I'm not sure if that's standard with a lot of their figures and everything, but it feels like if I could actually get a good grip on the neck I could pop this piece out and put another neck piece on there so cool for customizing things that I do and I don't like um, inconsistencies <laughs> they've got the extra shoulder piece in here for the extra articulation which is really nice but it makes the gi kind of loose feeling and everything because this piece here is just let's see if we can yeah, it's just a very loose shoulder piece, but like what's holding your arm is here, so that's not a problem. That's just allowing you for that extra range, and I don't know if you can hear that. Nice click, ratchet, makes me think that's a whole ratchet in there, but this arm does not have that same ratchet feel. So, inconsistent. <laughs> super loud click nothing on this side you can feel the little ridges in there so it does have that ratchet I just love the sound of that 
it just you know that's a tight holding joint there and everything so it feels like i got a real good joint here on this arm a real bad one on this arm and then this one is not super loose so it's not moving around too much like this one is this one's like very loose but you can see where that joint is in there he does look good of course he's got the new uh logo there for super and then his knees i found the most interesting because you don't see this too much on a lot of figures if you do a double jointed knee usually they have like an actual other piece in there they do it differently and i actually kind of like this it's kind of like a weird how do you want to describe that like i keep wanting to say like levy pulley system and everything and that's like not anywhere close to what i'm trying to describe here but yeah no what however they managed to pull off that little engineering i really like that it does suck that you are kind of stuck in certain poses with this guy not being able to look up and everything like i just wish i could lift that head if i could lift that head to look up or something that's my that's my biggest complaint with this because he's actually pretty cool um legs pretty basic like you know full range twist blah 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 he's got a real smooth leg um, I don't know if we said it about the elbows, double joint, and then, you know, the hands are their own thing, and the hands peg in onto those balls, and that's where your whole movement's coming from, basically that ball joint. We've got twist, and no kind of articulation beyond just twisting that ankle, and this no kind of articulation as far as i can tell it looks like there it actually might have articulation but the way that boot is covering it, it you're not getting articulation so minor movement it is on a ball peg it feels and looks like so there probably is an ankle twist on there and an ankle articulation point but this is blocking it from being able to move because it's pretty much flush with the shoe all in all dig this figure pretty cool might have to pick up a few more of these guys and check them out further Woo. falling pretty sweet thanks guys